All right, what up, gang? Matt here, country song teacher. Going to tell you now the wheels probably come off this lesson. Get my little guy here. Say hi, Blake. Say hi, bud. He's deep in some puzzles. Okay, let's do this. Easy song to learn. It's going to use uh, three chords, the whole song. G for two, E minor for two, C for two, back to G. First chorus. You'll see, now here's how I play my G. I, lock, I got the capo on the third fret, put it in the right key there. I lock in the two bottom strings. And on the G, a lot of times, as I'm strumming, I will hammer on that fifth string, second fret. So it's one, two, then I go to E minor, where I press in between the fifth and fourth. And strum twice, all six. Then for a C, I call it a C, but it's a C at nine. It's just like my G. But slid down to fourth and fifth, and I will hammer on, hammer on that uh, four string second fret. So it's hammer on down, hammer on. When I say hammer on the E minor, I'm playing it, strumming it, and then I press the two strings. So it's. Baby, lay on back and relax. Get your pretty little feet on my dash. We don't need to go nowhere fast. There's a door right here where we're at. Who knows where this thing's gonna be? We got nothing but time. As long as you're here. No. Oh, it's a bad song. Okay, so you can see how I was playing there. The whole song, I like songs like this, verses and chorus. Um, my boy right doing some good singing. I'm liking it, but so hammer on down. And your know, strumming's all about timing. You hear me say it over and over. I'll continue to say it, but it's start out with a slower tempo, but keeping a consistent timing of two beats each one. G, E minor, C, G, then repeat it. So you're kind of on that G twice, but... See that you're, when, you're, when you get that chorus, you're kind of raising an octave with your voice, but you're keeping it at the same timing. If it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be, baby, just let it be. If it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be, baby, just let it be. You can see, so right there, I'm, I started going down up more to switch up the strumming, but that timing's still the the same. See, I, I, you can speed up whatever, but as long as your tempo is staying consistent. And, I, you know, I got these chords, for example, on UltimateGuitar.com, and they're wrong. They have an A minor. Uh, they have the chord thrown off. So I say often, be careful of those websites. It throws off the, um, it messes up the chord order. Trust that ear more than websites. Baby, lay it on back and relax. Keep your pretty little feet on my dash. You don't need to go nowhere fast. This is still with me where you're at. Who knows where this road's gonna be? We got nothing, we got nothing but time. As long as oh man, they're getting loud. What's going on down there? Doppy change? Okay. So yeah, if you can see here a close up. It's a really good technique to work on anyway. Hammer on. If you have to play E minor with the uh, 
fifth and fourth, you can do it too. I press right in between. Whatever you're struggling with, type in Matt McCoy strumming, Matt McCoy C chord. If you want a close up of these four chords, I always do type in Matt McCoy first four chords. As you know, most of my songs are played G, D, E minor, C. G, see a little movement? It's a great technique to work on when advance you're playing. Hi, right, buddy, anything to say? Tell everybody to say check out countrysongteacher.com and tell them Snapchat is Guitar Teacher 44. That's all we need to say. Alright, buddy, tell them bye. You say bye. Bye. <laughs> Alright, guys, check it out. God bless you.